Well, hi and welcome to the training video. Now in this one, we're going to be setting up our alerts in TradingView so that they get triggered and they send a message to our Telegram app on our phone, which basically means we no longer have to be sitting at the screen all day. Now, what I'm going to do is run through this with you, show you how very easy it is. There is a previous video on this on setting up the, the webhook. That's how you get it to talk, basically. So training, sorry, trading view, how it talks to Telegram and sends those messages. So watch that one first if you need to. So let's get straight into this and see how we can set this up to be a very powerful uh, trading opportunity indeed. Um, we can finally get away from the screen and enjoy ourselves and literally log in when we get our signal pop up on our phone. Terrific. Let's get on with it now. OK, so the way I'm going to approach this, and you may want to do this differently, but for me, I don't want an alert going off um, if I'm watching, say, eight pairs, uh, and I might get a lot of alerts going off all the time, ping, ping, ping. I don't want that. So what I want to do is I want to filter them out. And the way I'm going to do that is by using a longer time frame. So in other words, I'm going to set this up on the 30 minute time frames and see how I go on that. Later on, I may change that, but that'll be a very simple solution to do. So for now, I'm going to put it onto 30 minutes. So every time that particular criteria occurs on a 30 minute chart, on a pair that I'm watching, I will get an alert come to my phone. At that point, I can then hear actually on the phone, I can actually log in and see trading view the actually on the chart where it's fired, or I can go to my computer you know, on the larger screen and go from there. And of course, from that point, I could then uh, just go down to a smaller time frame if I wanted to, to then uh, enter or exit a particular trade on that time frame. So I'm going to start off, as I say, with a 30 minute and I'll set these up now and you can come through with me on this and watch how this is done. OK, so here we are in the 30 minute and you can see that I've got eight charts set up here. This is a desktop. You can see all my other individual charts that I have set up running through here as well, which I can go to any of those tabs. And what I do is I have an eight tab at uh, 30 minutes and then I have an eight tab at 15, even though that's just the name wrong on that. Uh, that is normally at 15 minutes. So if I click on that, then all these charts here would be 15 minutes. Uh, by clicking on the chart we're on now, which is this one, all these charts, as you can see, are all at 30 minutes. OK, so that's the first criteria there. Now what we want to do is think about where we're going to set these alerts up. So first off, I'm going to go up to here. If you just have a look, that's the button I'm going to click on in a moment. But before I do that, I'm going to get rid of the marker and I'm going to go on and make it a larger screen. So let's go to here. We'll go down to these two little arrows here. Click up to this and that will put me on a full uh, screen setup there. Now what I'm going to do is also, I'm just going to check my uh, settings for this particular pair uh, because I want to look at the criteria under which I want these alerts to fire. So I'm going to go into the settings and I'm going to have a look down here straight away. The first thing I'm going to look at here is the whale sensitivity. OK, and you might want to change this slightly. It's entirely up to you, but this is what I this is what I'm doing and this is how I'm doing it. So I'm looking at where the whales are at. Uh, uh, being active at the moment and seeing oh, this, is this going to give me good trading indicators. So in other words, I'll just put a marker on here. So in other words, if I uh, had got an alert here at this point here on my phone, I would instantly come in as, as that point. So that bar would close, that would appear, and then I would get an alert right at that point. I'd come in and say, OK, where is, is there a trading opportunity here? And what I can see is that the market is starting to trend, trend up through here. So at this point, I'd be thinking, OK, well, I, I maybe want to be going through here. But I am actually just getting ahead of myself a little bit because I've just realised I'm missing something uh, on this particular chart, which I would want on. And then I would want the previous day zones on here and I would want to put that up to five down there. And you can see now this has put these purple lines in. You can see already now why I'm interested in this. OK, so I'm back up now to uh, the, the whale well sensitivity setting up here, this one here. And I'm just going to knock that up to uh, six. And I can see that I've pulled in a few more there. Let me just move that over. Pulled in some more down here as well. So that might be too much on that. So I'm going to go back to five and see what we go. OK, now that's back up to six. Yeah, let's have a look over here. I'm looking down at this area now to see what we've got here. If I drop this sensitivity down to five. Yeah, I, I quite like uh, five at this. I'd be very happy to get these signals around at this point here. 
Yeah, I'd be very happy to get those. Okay, so that's going to be that's my my settings is going to be okay. Um, everything's all good. Sixteen. So I just want to try something down here. I'm just going to knock this down uh, to sixteen. I want to pick up on that a little bit more. Okay, now this I this setting here. It's actually sixteen. It's normally a default. Okay, so maybe this because I've set some new charts up to do this. Okay, now 16, you notice that we get more down here. So this has adjusted the floating zone, that 16 setting. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back and I'm going to take that up to 6 again and see what happens. Okay, we get more on there, down to 5. I'm just going to try it at 4. Okay, now 4 is looking good. So you can see the dynamics of what's happened on there. Because I've adjusted the settings on the floating zone, that has affected where the whales will show up relative to that. And of course, we know when they get to the extremities, these are the, these are the important ones. These are the ones that we really like to see because they're getting down to the extremities. And yeah, you can just see just by looking at this how powerful these are. OK, so for that, this chart, that is going to be my setting there. Whale well, sensitivity of 4, 5, 8, 8 and 16 on the, Sorry, that's uh, not enabled. That's for accumulation. Sometimes I'll enable that to look at that. Um, but currently for this video, I'll keep that off so we can keep it nice and clear. And the floating zone, I've got... Um, this is the, uh, the scale on here. And so I'm quite happy with that as we're going. And the reject value will be to do with the uh, power, uh, pressure points. OK, so that's it on there. So I'm going to click OK on that, and that's fine. OK, that took a little bit of time sorting that out. Uh, so we won't, you won't have to do that uh, normally. Uh, once you've set that up, that's going to be set, and that's it. OK, so now the time to add in our alert and make sure that alert gets to um, our phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the alert here and I'm going to decide on what type of alert I want. Now I'm going to click on here. That's the wrong one, sorry. So we're going to click on here and we're going to go down on this pack because it's the pack indicator that we want the alert on. We'll click on that and you can see now I've got this whole choice. I'm going to pressure points up, pressure points down and, and whale activity. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to set this whale activity up. And you can do just the same process for going through this on the uh, pressure points, whatever you want. So I go for whale activity, click there. The message on here, I'm going to get rid of that. I'll just put in, just put in a whale alert for now. OK, and the alert name, I'm just going to put whale in there. Let's just put, uh, let's put, let's just put whale test in there. OK, now, do we want this only once? Um, only once per bar, once per bar. OK, so only once on this, once per minute. I'm just checking on this, making sure whale activity only once. Once per bar close, that's what we want. If we only, only once, and it would only fire once on the whole chart, we want it once per bar close. OK, that's fine. And now is the notifications. So we want to go to notifications now. Now I'm going to blank out the uh, webhook um, URL, URL in here. That will be blanked out. But what I will do is I'll scroll to the end of it. Now you can see here that this part where it says USD JP Wild Wow Trigger doesn't tell me you know, if I got that I would basically be thinking it was from USD JPY market. So here what I want to do is I want to put in a message that's relative to this chart that I'm working on now. So here I'm going to put in EUR USD And I'm going to put in there 30, so I know it's a 30 minute. And I'm going to put in there, leave that as whale trigger. Okay, and then I'm going to click create. Now that's done. It's now set up. Now I can go and check this over here. If I go up to this alerts window over here, you can see where my cursor is hovering now. Click at what looks like a little alarm clock. And I can see that there, that's the name of my 
alert and I can see it's set up on a euro at 30 minute and it is active. So I know that's done correct on there. You can see we've got some other ones here which we can just click, get rid of these on there. I'll leave these in, these Bitcoin ones, that's okay. So we can see that's how we do that on there. To get rid of that window we just click on there. Okay, so that's the process. All you have to do is go through each chart that you want, set it up like that, change your webhook to be reflective of the name that you want for that chart so that when that alert pops up on your phone you'll instantly know that's the pair that's the time frame and you can instantly go to that and like i say you can actually got the if you've got the trading view uh, platform you've got it on your on your phone as well uh, you can actually log in directly on trading view and open up the chart that you're looking at directly on there so you could be down the supermarket shopping standing in an aisle get an alert and open up your chart and have a look and see if you just want to place a trade or not. This is phenomenally powerful and freeing uh, as a trader. So anyway, I hope that helps. And if you need any more on this, let me know and I'll catch up with you very soon. Take care.